What's up, booze? What it do? What it do? Welcome to A Nicole Tarot. I'm your girl, A Nicole. And I am so excited to be channeling some general uh, messages for my collective booze. All signs are welcome. All placements, come on in. Thank you so much for pressing play, making me a part of your day. If you press play, it's something in here that I need to say, okay, from your ancestors to you, all right? Um, thank you all so much for your likes, your shares, your comments, the engagement you give my channel. Special, special, special thank you to my booze who be hitting up my tip jar. Y'all, y'all who be hitting up my cash app, my PayPal's, even hitting up the super thanks below. Thank you so much. Special thank you to my boo, Keiko, because Keiko be coming through. Like, special, hey girl, hey boo, hey sis. Um, she's also a fellow 5-1 um, manifester. Um, and I think we have the same houses almost. So yeah, it's a lot of similarities between she and I. So if you've ever um, done any of the above, engage the channel because all the all the likes the the comments all of it helps the algorithm and it draws more people to me so if you've done any of that you know from the free to you know dropping me a tip thank you i really appreciate the reciprocity for real all right like i gotta get that out the way every video i always say my thanks first um so yeah this is a general reading sorry that I haven't been on for a few days I had to fly back from London. It was my baby's birthday. Like I came in like at midnight. It was his birthday. That was Sunday. Um, and then today is Monday. So here I am. Okay. Next business day. I'm back on the mic. Okay. So sorry. It's been a long time. I shouldn't have left you without a dope beat the motherfucking step to. Okay. But I'm back, baby. Not always there when you call, but I'm always on time. All right. And I gave you my all. Okay. Now, baby, be mine. No, today is... Tuesday. I'm sorry. Today is Tuesday. Okay. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. Today is Tuesday. But I got y'all. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm going to do a more so in-depth reading today. Starting us off today. Um, just to kind of make up. I've missed you all so much. Um, if you want to book a personal reading with me. Um, I also do birth chart analysis, human design, um, and life path number um, analysis. Um, I'll leave my uh, link tree below. And the link tree will take you to anything A. Nicole. My social media, my brands, my online store, my online community if you want to be a part of my subscription. Um, let's see, my blogs, my workshops podcast i'm bringing back the podcast this month so yeah all of that all right i'm just not on here not just on here okay so only take what resonates leave what leave the rest behind if it doesn't sound like you it's for your neighbor not for you okay put that mail down okay taking somebody else's mail is a crime a federal. okay so i love this astro codes um deck so i want to tap into this astro code today get into this one first and then we will build for that so ancestors and spirit team i've been away for a second tap me into the energy of my collective blues my blues who are watching this new blues old school blues whoever okay tap me into their energy and allow me to channel messages for their highest good and their bloodlines highest good. Let's go. And this is the spirit team to come through. Okay. First card, Pisces. Synthesize. Okay. 12th house energy. So you could be a 12th houser. You could be a Pisces placement. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node. Hmm. You could be in Pisces energy. Very creative. Pisces energy is about mysticism you know um that's why it's associated with creativity because in order to have creativity you got to think different shit you know creativity is not about monotony it's about tapping into your divine source it's about tapping into how you interpret the world how you interpret art how you interpret blah 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 and translate it out you know into whatever it is you're molding whatever it is you've created in order to do that you kind of have to have some sort of escapism you know, you have to dream a bit. You kind of have to be outside of the world, not of the world, as the saints would say. 
you know, so you could be about that energy, Pisces energy. You may even, you know, um, have some uh, mental health diagnosis and ain't shit wrong with that. I, look, look, you, you, you talking to a whole ass mental health professional. We not shaming none of that shit. Okay, some of the most brilliant people I know, the most brilliant people I know with the most brilliant mindsets, you know, are either neurodivergent, you know, or, or have them some, some diagnosis in that good old DSM book. All right. It doesn't take it doesn't take away. It doesn't make you fucking less than. So you hold your fucking head. OK, but you may have you may battle with um, mental health things. Um, I could also talk about institutes. I could be talking to somebody who may have been um, institutionalized at one point um, or, you know, just someone who um, may be in therapy, you know, um, substance abuse, um, tapping into psychotropic um, or psychedelic experiences. Lord, what spirit got me talking about? Pluto, rebirth, my God. Some of you all are coming through some sort of a rebirth. Pluto has entered the chat. Scorpio energy, transformation. Somebody's been through some sort of death. Somebody's been to the underworld, especially with this Pisces energy. You know? Hmm. Some sort of, I don't know, I don't want to say a mental breakdown, but I don't know. You know, it, it, I, I feel I keep tapping into that energy. And usually, if, especially if you all have watched me for a minute, um, whenever I talk about Pisces, I never talk about, you know, this this part of it. Um, or it, like I'll, 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 I'll mention it and keep moving, but never tap into it like this. So this is for someone. Someone's going through some sort of a, a rebirth, particularly after some sort of a breakdown. Something that was really tough. Something that was really rough. You know, someone could be overcoming some sort of substance. Someone could be overcoming um, a death, you know, an actual death, you know, because uh, Pisces energy, 12th house energy also reigns the spiritual world. And then Pluto, somebody could have transitioned over and now it's an ancestor. <sighs> 27, 2 plus 7 is 9. Yeah, some sort of an ending. It could have been a sudden ending, a sudden change. 12... House energy, one plus two. That's mind, body, and soul. Mind, body, and spirit. A lot of you all are being aligned. A lot of you all are being called home to yourself. Like you can't escape your divinity anymore. Mm -mm. And a lot of you all are being rebirthed into the high priest, high priestesses that you are. Ooh. South node, pass. Okay, south node energy is our comfort zone. Okay, your south node is the energy that you in, you incarnated this lifetime with. It's your comfort zone. You are whatever your south node sign is. You are comfortable with all of those elements of that sign. Okay, that is why we also have a north node because your north node are the qualities. Whatever that sign is, those are the qualities that you are tasked in this lifetime to embody familiarize yourself with okay master you know but you can't do that when you're stuck or you're yeah you're stuck in the comfortability of the comfort zone so some of you all may have been stuck in your comfort zone you could still be stuck in your comfort zone something about the past you know is still coming through with the future 33 3 plus 3 is 6 6 talks about balancing maybe some of you all could be balancing some energies between you know what you've gone through rectifying some shit tying up some loose ends mm. Mm, this is a real serious reading my god i lit, i did like my little candles i put my little my little put a little douce out for the ancestor spirit team i like put a little douce I tell y'all all the time, like when I be pouring, I be like, nah, you y'all, y'all gotta try the shit we drinking down here now. It's called that douce. Let me let me pour you a little glass. Let me pour you a little glass. Let me pour you a little glass. Yeah. And as soon as I pour that stuff, baby, y'all's ancestor spirit team be flowing. And I was feeling bad today because I rushed back from the gym and forgot to get some coffee for them. That's why I was like, don't worry, don't worry. I can get that coffee. I'm going to have that coffee for you tomorrow, but I'm going I'm to I'm I'm pull you some, some brand new shit. No, no, no. Fuck that Hennessy. Okay, this ain't no VSOP. Be on that D-U-S-S-E. Okay. Anything else, Spirit, for my booze? And then I'll go into clarifying. Thank you, Spirit. Retrograde. Mm, retrograde is going 
over Pisces energy. Sensitize. Here you are, another six. Balancing. It says retrograde review. Okay, so some of you all could be doing some sort of review. Uh, my watch just lit up. Retrograde talks about a return to something. Things slowing down and going backwards. So you're being able to return to an energy. To maybe review. Because now you're a bit older. You're a bit wiser. You know, you've been outside of the fray for a while to gain a better perspective. So now let's review it. What would we do differently? What would we say differently? How would we react differently? You know, how can we level up from this? All right. Bottom of the deck, first house arrival. All right. Our first house is about our sense of self. The first house is ruled by Aries. Aries rules the head. Okay. That's why it is about the, the sense of self, your mind, who you think you are. Okay. So some of you could be having some sort of rebirth, you know, with how you see yourself, yourself, even a new identity. You, you all aren't looking the same. Some of you all have gone through some sort of massive transformation, either emotionally, spiritually, even physically. You know, some of you all may have lost weight, you know, lost a lot of weight, maybe got healthy, you know, came to a healthier weight. You know, some of you all may have gained weight and gaining weight ain't always bad. Okay, some of you could gain muscle. Some of you could gain thickness, curves. You know, from for from, from my fellas, you maybe having that little unk body. You know that little big unk body, you know? <laughs> Let me stop. But something about your first house. You could either be a, a Pisces rising or a Scorpio rising. Mm -hmm. Yep. Let's see, but let's get into this some more. Thank you, Spirit, for this. Can we clarify for my baby boos? <sighs> Let me see which I'll do the I'm like which um tarot would I like? I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got eight tarot decks to my right. So I'm looking at them like which one do I want to use? I ain't used this one in a minute, and this is like I don't it's one of my favorites. I don't want to say it in front of the other decks, but I mean because this it's the original um Raider Way. So, like, I fucks with it. The sun just peeked at me at the bottom of the deck. A lot of you all are gaining some sort of happiness. Wow. And then the magician is here. Yeah, I'm talking to some sort of creative. Pisces, this is this is backing up with the magician energy. Uh, Gemini Virgo has entered the chat. But the magician energy is about alchemy. Okay? It's about having everything you need on the table everything that you desire to create the life you want also your mind being infinite your mind bringing you that abundance you know to create you see from the mind he has this staff in his hand saying up here about to say abracadabra and some shit about to shake this is you all some of you all are creatives your artists your dreamers you could be intuitives hmm you could smoke a little weed. You know, you could you could you could tap into a little shroom shroom. You know, you could take your trips. Hmm, you could like escapism. You could be very spiritual. Hmm. Hmm. But spirit is telling me you are in a huge manifestation era. Like your dreams literally coming true. I keep talking to you all about this Jupiter and Gemini transit. Get your ass out there and manifest some shit. Especially if you have Gemini placements, particularly if you have mutable placements. Gemini, Pisces, um, Virgo, Sagittarius. Get your ass out there. Tell me more, Spirit, about this Pisces energy. We have a um, magician. What else do we have? Spirit for my collective booze. If the messages are resonating with you, I kindly ask you to please give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and the algorithm, and it makes your girl so damn happy. All right. What else do we have for Pisces? Sensitize. Ooh. Okay, I'll get that. Let me get through the shuffle. Mm. Four of swords, and it's in reverse. Okay, so some of you all could be in your head. Or some of you all could be doing so much that you're not allowing yourself to some, some type of 
heal. Either you're not allowing yourself time to heal because the Four of Swords Upright talks about after some sort of death, after some sort of battle, you know, recovering from some sort of illness, recovering from some sort of battle that you've done, um, some sort of hurt, pain, strife, whatever, some sort of death that may have happened. But when this is in reverse, either you're not allowing yourself to do this, you're not allowing yourself to heal from something, um, free up some of that mental bandwidth. You could be overthinking something. Some of you all are not stepping into your solace. You're not taking time to yourself. You're not allowing yourself alone time, recovery time, especially if you're the type to always want to help. Why is my uh, camera shaking? I'm sorry, my dog underneath here. What the hell going on? Um, but spirit needs you upright, okay? Recovering. You know, or some of you all could be coming out of that energy of, you know, kind of being to yourself, you know, being, 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 not speaking much, not socializing, not having much to say, just kind of being in your head about something, kind of being uh, in mourning mentally about something. Come out of that shit. You know, your, your magic is waiting for you. Your dreams are calling you. Your mind needs that space to give you them ideas, the shit to shake, especially if you're an intuitive, a dreamer, you use your mind for something to create, to be, to be an artist. Some of you could be painters, writers, spiritualists. You know, some of you all's magic could be a little bit off, you know, be, 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 because of something, some sort of death. Tell me more spirit. Thank you. Mm, what I tell you? What, what, what I tell you in your head? in your head a lot of you all have been in your fucking head and you've been in your head and this is where the fuck you need to be but you can't be you can't look like none of this shit look you, your coat ain't even open here your coat clothes you wrap up your eyes wrap up your arms wrap up you have all of these thoughts around you just paralyzing you a lot of you all have been i'm just gonna say it too much in fucking la la land and we need you in fa la 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 land. Okay, it's Christmas time. Okay, we need you motherfucking starry and bright. Okay, we need you on that motherfucking partridge and a motherfucking pear tree. Okay? What the hell? Some of you all been analysis paralysis. You're not making moves. You're not, you know, casting your spells. You're not doing what the fuck it is you need to do because you think you're not ready. You're second guessing yourself. You're all up in your head or you're allowing your raggedy ass mama to be all up in your head. Yes, I say raggedy ass mama. You and her can come and meet me somewhere. We can swear the fuck up because I'm real about this. You know, I want to fight her, but I want to fight you too because why you want to take up? I'm trying to take up for you. Okay? So, get out of your fucking head. Oh, God. Eight. I didn't even see that in the back. <sighs> I'm a fuck y'all. Every time I just take two days. If I take more than two days. This, well, this time around, it was three. It was three. It was three. Because I was doing a whole shit my last night in London. I'm not going to lie. So, I didn't I didn't come through on, a, on, on, on my last day there. My bad. But back to this. Back to the manuscript. Every time I take two plus days, I come back... And, like, the sitter got some shit for me to say. Big mama telling me how, you know, blah, 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 blah. What's going on? Some of y'all been having restless nights. Some of y'all been worried, been in your head. Some of y'all, my, my phone just went off. Some of y'all been stressed out. In gloom, depression. I call that shit with that Pisces energy. Mental health. You know, some of y'all's mental health been fucked up. Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords, talk to me. Well, what's going on? Talk to me in the in the in the comments. What's going on? And y'all don't even know how mighty you are. What's on the other side of that? If you would free up your mind for whatever you're allowing, you know, yourself to take up in your head and really flex that fucking magic. You all are in a manifestation era. I'm trying to tell you. But no, this way you rather be, because this was this was uh, in reverse. Remember, this way you rather be falling on your own sword, literally falling on your own sword, literally falling on your own sword, literally. My phone just went off again. Pity parties. 
Oh, woe is me. La, 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 la. You know, I'm not making fun. I didn't, I didn't snicker. I didn't giggle because this shit ain't funny to me. You know, what's going on? And this ain't for everybody if it ain't about you. No, if it ain't about you, do what you gonna do. And I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. So go ahead, do your thing. Let me, let me, let me, let me let people do what they want to do. Yeah. That. Um, but I need you, I need this to be your energy. Not this. We're going to put this right on, right on top. Right on top. Okay? Now let's get to this Pluto. Let's talk about this rebirth, this death and rebirth that you all are going through. Some sort of, could have had some sort of tower moment, some sort of death, temperance and happiness. Yeah, your spirit team is stepping in to temper shit for you, to bring you some sort of rainbow. Whatever it is you've gone through, this darkness with this, this temperance energy, that's what spirit wanted to tell you. You are protected. That temperance energy is uh, St. Michael. That's the angel of protection. Temperance energy is some sort of, um, not some sort of, that is uh, Sagittarius energy. And it talks about patience. Having patience while spirit comes in and balances shit for you. I told you that with these two uh, sixes here. Three plus three and one plus five. There's some sort of balancing taking place. You know, some sort of um, equity shift taking place. Okay, let's talk about Pluto. Thank you so much if you are still here. I ask that if the messages are resonating for you to go ahead and press that thumbs up button. It really helps the channel and the algorithm and it makes your girl so happy. The world card. I'm not even going to say no more. The world card. Y'all know what time that is. The world card talks about the end of the world. A completion. Coming full circle. Full circle moment. Reaching the end of something. The end of the page. The end of the world. You know, so now it's time for you to start a new world. Now it's time for you to get out into the world. Some of you all are being pushed to travel. Get out of your comfort zone. Step out of where the fuck you've been. Some of you all may be moving, taking a trip, contemplating taking a trip. Get your ass. But yes, there's been some sort of a death of a world. There's some been some sort of an ending of some sort of a world as you've known it. You know, something shifted, something. And I feel like for a lot of y'all, something woke your ass up. It could have had something to do with family or a loved one or something that you thought you was going to be happy in. You thought you was going to ride off into the sunset with. Tell me more about um, Pluto Rebirth Spirit. Let me get through the shuffle. Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay, so we have Earth Energy here with the Queen of Pentacles. You could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn placement. And here we are again with the Queen of Cups. Water Energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. I told you Pisces and Scorpio is already here from the water signs. Now Cancer has entered the chat as well. Mm. A lot of you all could be coming to an end of the road with a Earth sign or a water sign or that. Or like I said, this could be you. Some of you all also with this Queen of Pentacles, you could be coming to an end of a career venture, a job venture, you know, something at home. You know, Pentacle energy is Earth energy, roots. I don't know why I keep picking up on family. Hmm. Queen of Cups. Hmm. I don't know what the Queen of Cups. I'm picking up that somebody is like some sort of a light worker. A healer. Or like a high priest is like uh, uh, a medium, a, psych a psychic, something like that. Hmm. But if you have prominent earth and water placements, you're going through some sort of a rebirth. Your, your money could be coming through some sort of a rebirth. You know, death and rebirth getting better you know and also something about your feelings with this queen of cups you could have went through something that made you stronger in your feelings stronger in your in your boundaries healed you more you could be more compassionate more nurturing more open to love more ready for love hmm. the three of so yeah no that's the five of cups i thought i saw the three of swords just peeking up at me yeah you may have gone through some sort of a loss Somebody's gone through some sort of a loss, an emotional loss. You could be dealing with some sort of a sorrow. You could be mourning something. You could be in, in some type of regret. Mm, but a king of wands, Lord have mercy. Some of y'all, it could have been uh, 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 dealing with a fire sign placement, Aries, uh, Leo, Sagittarius. Or this could have been somebody who was like a player, um, very fiery. They could have been overbearing controlling to you or they could have been very charismatic you know a, a lover a ladies man 
a player. But this person could have had a lot of secrets. It was a lot of secrets you didn't know about. Now Cancer is here. Cancer and Pisces. With this moon energy, there could have been some things that you didn't know about with this energy. <laughs> what I tell you? Some shit you didn't know about. Two of Swords. Two of Swords talks about there's there you are being blinded, being uncertain, not having all of the information, so your hands are tied. You can't make a decision, but there's that judgment card. Spirit woke your ass up, ass up about something with this, with this uh, energy. With this moon card, you was woke up to some sort of secret and it led you. Some of y'all cut this motherfucker off. This ain't for everybody, but this was somebody. This is very clear. Very clear. This person could have been too hot to trot and still had room to squat. A king of wands, a hoe. Hmm. You could have found out it, it was you and somebody else. You could have ended some sort of connection. Hmm. You found, you found out this person could have been dealing with... Oh, God. And you successfully ended that. Six of Wands. You know, if you've let that go, allowed that shit to die out and step into this new rebirth, step into this new version of you, Spirit is giving you a recognized victory. Wow, a shift. Wow. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, you all have ended something. You've closed some sort of cycle. I say it all the time. Whenever the world card comes out in any of my readings, it doesn't matter what deck I use, it's the, the, the Wheel of Fortune is not too far. So you've, you've closed a chapter and started a new cycle. Sheesh, Louise. Yeah. Some of y'all was dealing with something very burdenful with that devil. A lot of you all made a deal with the devil. A lot of you all was dealing with a lot of toxicity that was burdening you, weighing you down. You was burnt the fuck out. Mm-hmm. And now spirit is like, it's time for you to be motherfucking happy. You know, some of you all, this was your comfort zone. I'm trying to tell you, a lot of with this south node... Coming down there with the devil, and the devil energy is Capricorn energy, by the way, you know, but some of you all could be obsessing about something too, and that's burdening you. You know, some of you all could be obsessing about some things that are <sighs> inclusive of your comfort zone. I don't know, but spirit is trying to pull you out into happiness, into the sun. Some of you all, spirit is encouraging you to play, but I feel like a lot of you all are sitting in your comfort zone. And you're wondering why shit ain't shaking for you. It's because that's not where you're supposed to be. That's not where your growth dwells. That's where your comfortability dwells. You know? Hmm. Anything else for self? No. Get out of get out of that self-sabotage. You know, I'm going back to that devil energy, which talks about self-sabotage, you know, codependency, habits that are not for your highest good. Being tied to shit that limits your freedom, you know, because on the devil card, let me, let me, let me cover up the naked people. They're chained to this devil. And because they're chained to this devil, they can't, they can only go but so far. So with that devil energy, whatever it is that you are submitting to, you know, you're never going to be able to travel as far as you can. Go the heights that you definitely can go because you're always going to be a slave to the proximity of that chain. And some motherfuckers keep a short leash. Everybody's leash ain't the same. Some motherfuckers, they get, oh, you, you, you make a step and it's like, oh, you getting gagged. So that's up to you. You don't be no slave to nobody. The fuck? The hell is going on? That's so disrespectful to your divinity. That's so disrespectful to the motherfucking promise that you made before you decided to incarnate your ass here. Well, what was the whole point if you coming then? What was the whole point if you coming? If you're going to get here and let a mere mortal, you know, stop you from doing what the fuck you were sent here to do. When your ass transitions over, your spirit team going to be waiting on you, baby. And they not going to be waiting with smiles and Hallmark cards. Trust me. Uh-uh. They gonna be waiting with motherfucking uh, rocks in a sock. Okay? They, they, they coming to lay that motherfucking smock down. Alright? So do what the fuck you were sent here to do. Especially all of this behind a, a motherfucker. All of this behind a who? Uh-uh. Let me tell you, me as an ancestor, <laughs> batter up. Okay? Look. I'm, 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 I'm not playing no games. Okay, especially we need you out there for the, the bloodline's highest good, you know, to heal us. And you out here playing around behind a mother. Uh-uh, uh-uh, bring that ass here. 
Six of Swords in reverse, South Node. Somebody's not getting back on their journey. I cannot make this up. Six of Swords in reverse. This talks about a blockage, allowing yourself to stay in something chaotic instead of moving the fuck on, not allowing spirit to lead you away, not allowing yourself to get back on your journey, make peace with something, you know, move on from something, you know, with the six of sword upright, you know, she's being led in the darkness, you know, into something that's unknown, you know, because it's outside of a comfort zone. Some of y'all asses is stuck in your comfort zone, and that's the source of you feeling like this. Oh, y'all thought I wasn't going to dig in y'all ass? Oh, y'all didn't think I was going to? Oh, you didn't think I was going to have you like this? Yeah, get your back up against the fucking wall. I'm talking to you. All right, South Node, you need to set up boundaries. Some of you all are also guarded. Some of you all are also defensive when it comes to change with the seven of wands. You know, some of you all could be guarded. You could think everybody is out to get you. Everything is out to get you. You could be paranoid in your head, you know, living in the past. Hmm. Bringing them past motherfuckers into your future. What would I tell y'all about that? Why did I don't, I'll never get, do not let nobody steal from you two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. You know, whoever it is you've dealt with, you know, motherfuckers gonna motherfuck. They hurt us. Yes, I got you. It's fucked up. But we deal with it and we move on. Because if not, you're gonna bring all that hurt, pain, trauma, everything unchecked, and you're going to cheat yourself out. Of people who are now on your journey to help you, to love you. And you're going to let that motherfucker help you continue to steal from you. They not in your life no more, but they, you might as well let them stay. Because their presence is still felt. Their presence still uh, reigns king or queen. I, I don't understand that. I don't understand that. Some of you all I could be talking about uh, connection. You may have south um, node uh, synergy with south node uh, conjunct Venus or something like that. Mm. Five of wands. Now we're talking about conflict. Insecurity, jealousy. Mm -hmm. Competition, argument, stress. Yeah, some of you all are just cool with just sitting in that chaos. It's the best that I can do. This the best. Okay. Okay. Stay on your south node and never come towards your north node. Like I said, when you transition over, baby, it's going to be a nice little party for you. And I'm not talking about no fucking cookies, cakes, and ice cream. No, 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 no. Mm-mm. Go ahead and lay your ass down so we can lower you on that ground. Okay? Because it's an after party with your name on it. Okay? Let me see. What else we got? Let's see retrograde. Tell me about retrograde. Tell me what my booze need to review. All right? If the messages are resonating with you and you ain't too triggered, because y'all know I love you. Okay? I'm saying this from the heart. All right? I just work here. Don't get mad at me. I just work here. Please, please, please give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel and the algorithm. And it makes your girl so happy. Okay? Fool card. What I tell you? A lot of you all are probably getting a, a second chance or something like that or an opportunity to take a leap somewhere. Go. A lot of you all are being pushed to go back to zero. Reset. The sun is shining. The sun came out already in the deck. The sun is shining on you. Take a leap. Go on to this new journey. Get back on your journey. Leave behind the fuckery the comfort zone, the darkness, the depression, and come into your new life. Hmm. Some of you all are getting a second chance at something, to take a leap at something with this retrograde. Yeah. Hmm. It doesn't say Mercury, so I don't want to, but I, I, I'm thinking about the magician. I just I just looked over here at the magician. I was thinking Mercury retrograde. I don't know if it's communication. There's that Virgo Gemini energy again, but wow, three of wands, expansion. Look at that. Taking your ass out there, seeing what's out you, turning your back on the old and going out and seeking the new. Sagittarius energy again. Spirit is calling you to take some leap. 
You know, some of you all may be moving. Some of you all could be, because Three of Wands talks about exploring new territories, making new friends, new connections that, that, that aren't what you're used to. You know, doing things that are outside your comfort zone. Hmm. Some of you all could be having another opportunity to go somewhere. Wow, now we have three of uh, pentacles. Yeah, a new community, I'm trying to tell you. Hmm. Some of you could be reviewing, making a list or, or assessing your friends, your friend groups, the value they bring, or should you need to turn your back on them and make new motherfucking friends with this Eight of Cups? Yeah, Spirit is asking you to do some sort of review now. Review to the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups talks about turning your back on things that don't bring you any joy. Don't bring you any satisfaction. Don't bring you any fulfillment that does nothing to you. Cuts that do not pour into yours and going out to seek what does. Going back into that darkness, leaving the familiarity of the darkness, all right, to go out and find the light. Ace of Cups, and look, Spirit, wow. Eight of Cups, going from cups that do not fill your cup up to the Ace of Cups. Spirit, filling your cup over, running your cup over. That is beautiful temperance wow spirit feeling your cup thank you spirit like i know we here I, you know i'll be telling them that i'll be doing this for miss gladys but i like when you know you you bring it together you bring it home spirit is trying to fill your cup i'm trying to tell you get the fuck out of your comfort zone get out of your head and then nine of cups from eight of cups to the nine of cups now the nine of cups talks about once you found what satisfies you now you're satisfied. Your wishes are being fulfilled. Your dreams are coming true. Now all of them cups behind you are lined up and they're just for you. This talks about seeking what serves you. Kind of being selfish with your love. Kind of being selfish with what you want to do. What fulfills you. All of that. Only focusing on your joy. That's what spirit is calling you to do. Focusing on you. Hmm. Anything else, Spirit? Okay, I'm going to leave it here, y'all. I hope these messages have brought you all some sort of clarity, comfort, closure, whatever you were looking for. I hope you found it here and then some with me. I am your girl, A. Nicole. Per the usual, I have so enjoyed um, channeling these messages for you. All right? I love y'all. I'm rooting for y'all. I want the best for y'all. Y'all know that, and I'm here for y'all. Y'all know that, too. I don't play no games when it comes to y'all, okay? Again, if you want to book your um, personal reading with me or a birth chart analysis or a birth chart human analysis and um, life path number analysis, um, I will leave my link tree below that will link you to all of things, including a Nicole to include my appointment book, okay? I will come back for another video. Y'all already know that. I'm back home. I'm back on the grind. Okay. But in the meantime, in between time, y'all know I want you to keep that motherfucking head up. Please, 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 please keep that motherfucking bread up. And for the love of God, keep these hoes fed the fuck up so they can shut the fuck up. All right. I'm your girl, Ada Cole. I'll catch you on another video. Bye-bye.